Uh, the next component that is uh, uh, also considered as a basic uh, uh, part of the X-ray head. This is the X-ray tube, by the way, which generates the X-ray. When the X-ray is generated, as we said, it will uh, be directed relatively uh, through uh, one area by the angulation of the uh, of the anode, and it will uh, be emitted through the uh, target. Uh, so, sorry, through the window. The X-ray which is then generated in this area uh, is not homogeneous. What does this mean? It means that the energies of the X-rays that are emitted over uh, here actually uh, are completely heterogeneous and they have different uh, uh, penetrating abilities or different energies. We have, energy, we have X-ray photons of a very short wavelength that is highly can uh, uh, highly penetratable, and we have medium length uh, uh, photons, and we have long wavelengths that fail to uh, uh, go through uh, the different tissues of the human tissues. What we need in reality, we need only the highly penetrating tissues, uh, highly penetrating photons, so that they can go through the soft and the medium and the hard tissues, and then they will reach to the sensor of the film, and then so that they will be, produce the image. Low, 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 uh, uh, or high long wave, long, long wave uh, photons that is of a very short, uh, high, uh, low energy are actually not needed. So we need to, because they will reach to the patient's skin and without be, uh, uh, penetrating through the deeper tissues. So we need to cut these off, we need to filter them off, and this is the action of the uh, aluminum filter which is present into the uh, X-ray machines. Now, if we look over here, we will see that this part is actually made of See this part, the inner part, the shiny one. This is an this is an aluminium filter that is 1.5 millimeter thick. The action of this filter is to absorb all the long wavelength X-ray photons. Long wavelength it means those uh, uh, photons that have low uh, have a long uh, uh, wave uh, have a low energy low penetrating energy. So it, it, it's the, the aluminum filter is going actually to stop all these photons that have low penetrating uh, energy. That means is that they have a very high uh, wavelength and they will allow the photons uh, of a very short wavelength, i.e. Uh, of high penetrating ability so that they will pass through the filter. So the filter actually which is made from aluminum is uh, 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 hardens the X-ray, so it's going to uh, uh, make only uh, allow only the highly uh, penetrating X-ray photons of a shorter wavelength to pass through through the, uh, through it and uh, reach the patient. The um, the the uh, 1.5 millimeter is the minimum thickness of the commercial aluminium that is present in the way of the X-ray. However, the total filtration of the X-ray machine should be around 2.5 millimeter, and this is an added filtration plus the 1.5 millimeter. This is the oil, the glass, anything that uh, through which the X-ray passes actually before exiting the aluminium filter. The next very important component is the collimator. Collimator, as you see, it, the surrounded collimator, it is made of lead. This, as we said, the, when the X-ray is generated over here, it will be in a big, very big uh, uh, cone-shaped uh, 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 beam. Uh, we, we, in reality, we don't need this very big beam. We only need six to seven centimeters, okay, uh, diameter of a circular beam to reach to the patient. This is equal to the size of the sensor that is placed behind the tooth. Any extra, any more than the, the six centimeters is actually is unnecessary exposure to the patient. So need to, we need to cut 
all this unnecessary exposure and this is the uh, uh, function of the collimator see the collimator is placed in the way of the x-ray it will absorb all x-ray it will allow only the x-ray into a circle or a rectangle in cases if you're using a rectangular collimator and it will so that when it reaches to the patient's skin it will have an uh, uh, um, uh, X-ray beam diameter of 6 to 7 centimeters max maximum. Well, the, if the, it's made of lead because lead has the ability to absorb all types, all energies of X-ray. While this, the aluminum filter is made of aluminum because it only, as we said, cuts off the low energy X-ray. Okay. This is the PID or the position indicating device. This is a short uh, 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 type uh, of device, uh, which uh, as I, sh I will show you on the X-ray machine. If we assemble all the, uh, uh, the, the, the components of the PID, this is how it looks. See from the inside, you, the shiny part is the uh, aluminum filter. It's surrounded by the collimator. And if you can see from the inside, I'll just remove this. The inside of the plastic collimator is also, can you see it here? It's also leaded. It's not metal. This part, see it over here? This part, see the shiny part over here? This is also made of lead. The action of this is, I'll show you now. When the beam is generated and it is filtered and then it is collimated, it will pass again into the form of a cone. So what we need is that any X-ray huh, passing in this cone, it will be not allowed only from this part to exit. So what, we, what we're doing, the reason of leading uh, of the interior side of the cone is that no X-ray passes from here. So when I put the X-ray on my hand, and remove it, only this part is exposed. Anything outside of the borders of the, uh, of the collimator uh, will, uh, sorry, of the PID or the, or the cone, PID by the way is the position indicating device, anything outside, see, anything outside this area is not here, it's not, uh, there is no X-ray, but the X-ray is only present in this part. So this, this also aids in a reduction of the exposure to the patient by limiting or removing all x-rays that are uh, present outside the cone so that only the x-ray <coughs> sorry reaching to the patient will be uh, will be uh, used and the diameter here is seven centimeters so that this is uh, it covers the uh, maximum uh, intraoral film that is placed inside the oral cavity and this is the action of the collimator that you see inside.